Aloha. Just wanted to take a little time to um, encourage the, the art of kuhi'ai as a means to really celebrate um, life and the eating of food, um, specifically kalo, and that which is grown here that was once the staple food of this land. So, just to demonstrate about the, the pounding of kalo, the, the first stage, as I learned, is, is the stage of what's called naha. You're just kind of breaking up the kalo. You know, naha means to break. And then, as you see, what happens is as you break it up, the kalo starts to kind of spread around. And what happens is it, is it moves out like this, and it looks kind of like islands almost floating out in an ocean. So, the next stage is moku moku which it breaks up like that. Um, then what you want to start to do is you start to pa'i pa'i, bring the kalo in together. And this is when you start to work the kalo, bring these islands in, yeah? pa'i pa'i, slap it in. Um, so right now we're here on the fourth stage already. So the first stage was naha to break, and the kalo breaks up like islands. You slap the islands in. And then what happens now is it's the stage where it's starting to really stick and adhere together. And this is the stage of Pili. So these are really the stages of Kui'ai, which is the art of pounding kalo, as I learned them from Akorokawa. So as you see, the kalo starts to, starts to stick and become Pili. And you'll notice one thing that I have not done is I have not added any water to the Pohaku kui'ai, which is this implement here, or the papu kui'ai, which is the board. But you can see that it's becoming nice and peely, sticking and adhering to each other. And now really, this is the stage now of what is referred to as pa'i'ai, or pounded food. In the old days, this food would then be gathered up, put in an u, uh, a puolo of lai or tea leaf, and it could be easily transferred to places. Remember, bowls and things were very precious implements and were not readily available. So the pa'i'ai was then transferred in these tea leaf puolo that could be moved and spread throughout the community. So again, the first stage is naha, and then it becomes moku moku. Um, then it's pa'i pa'i, bringing all those islands in, pounding it to the point of where it becomes pili, and then really reaching this stage that is called pa'i ai, where the food could then be transferred. The last stage now is where you start to slowly add your water. And you really are just adding it simply to the stone. The, the water then becomes really a barrier between the stone and the ai, or the food, the color. Now I'm starting to try to really look for all of the small, small chunks of kalo and really work those on the board, yeah, pulling it into the center. And now you're kind of really, really striking the kalo down on the board while just slowly adding water to your stone. You can also kind of slide it on the board like so. Once you start to feel it stick to your stone, you start to kind of add a little more water. So as you can see, it's becoming what is called, slowly over time, it is becoming what is called vali. It's starting to smoothen out the kalo here. And this can be worked over a period of time to make it as smooth to whatever consistency you like it. So I took a few more minutes to, to kui and to work up the, the kalo and to get out well, what's referred to generally as the pupu or the little bumps, the little pieces and little chunks of kalo. So one way that you can start to work it and smoothen it all out is when it gets to this stage is you can kind of do this stroke that is generally referred to as a knife. You're kind of working the kalo out, just looking for any of the little bumps and you're just slowly and surely just kind of working it out. You know, but my experience has found that when it comes to the practice of kui'ai, there's so many variables, but the biggest variable that will determine the quality of the pa'i'ai or the poi that will come from it is really the quality of the kalo. And so, um, so what you want to do is start to grow kalo, 
or to support those who grow good kalua. Uh, this variety here happens to be the moi that we grow. Um, and I'd like to think that it's one of the better colors out there. You can see this starts to adhere. Um, it starts to become nice and it's called fully. Yeah. Um, of course, I can continue to work this and really smoothen it out. But a lot of people like to have just a little bit of, just a tad bit of uh, poo poo in there in their poi, poi pa'a. So again, the stages of kui'ai. The first is naha to break. The second is the, the kalo breaks into what look like islands, moku moku. The third stage is then to pa'i pa'i, all those moku back in. Um, and then as you're pounding, it starts to stick in it here at the stage of pili. Um, you, you continue to pound it to the point where it still has a lot of pupu, a lot of bumps in it, a lot of chunks of kalo, and that is the stage of pa'i then you slowly add water and you start to ho'ovali or to smoothen down that, that pounded food or the pa'i'ai into what at this stage this would be referred to as poi pa or poi that is nice and firm which then can be slowly watered down to the consistency of your desire. So thanks for sticking with us. I hope this, is encur I hope this encourages you to um, spend time preparing your food and celebrating the goodness of life. Oh.